What is going on everybody? For those who don't know, I go by BLSG and this is another Sixers offseason video. If you guys are new to this channel and love talking Philly sports nearly every single day, go down below and hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and make sure to turn the notification bell so you guys are instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. Now as we continue forward into the NBA offseason for every NBA team, but in particular my Philadelphia 76ers, there is another trade rumor that has gone down according to Sixers Wire, that has the Philadelphia 76ers trading with a Western Conference team for three pretty good players that the Sixers can add to this team to make this team even more of a title contender. So without further delay, let's just get right into it. So, this was out a few weeks ago. I wanted to put a video on this earlier, but I couldn't. But... According to Sixers Wire, Sixers Wire has a trade going on between the Philadelphia 76ers and the Utah Jazz to swap talent with the following trade. I'm, I'm going to say the trade right now. So, for the Philadelphia 76ers, what they would get from the Utah Jazz. The Philadelphia 76ers would receive forward Bojan Bogdanovic, shooting guard Jordan Clarkson, and forward Rudy Gay, okay? And for the Utah Jazz, in return, they will receive power forward Tobias Harris and small forward Matisse Thibel. That was the trade rumor according to Sixers Wired that is honestly a possible trade that these two teams could make and agree with each other and a trade that might potentially go down the NBA offseason depending if Daryl Morey wants to give the Utah Jazz a call. But, the question that I am ready to answer right now is that, do the Philadelphia 76ers go out and trade both Tobias Harris and Matisse Thibel to the Utah Jazz for those three players? And my answer is yes. I would so do this trade 100,000%. And we're going to go from each team's perspective on, re on reasons for why they would do this trade. So... From Philly's perspective, I'm just going to get this one out of my way. I did not write this one down. But this should be the number one reason why the Philadelphia 76ers would want to do this trade. They would get Tobias Harris out of here That's who still has $76 to $77 million on his huge five-year $180 million contract. That is the number one reason why the Philadelphia 76ers would do this trade with the Utah Jazz to get Tobias Harris and this massive contract out of Philly. Now, the second reason why the Philadelphia 76ers would do this trade is that the Sixers get a great bench score in Jordan Clarkson. And Jordan Clarkson's stat line overall from the past few years, he averages 15 to 18 points per game off the bench, 3 to 4 rebounds per game, 3 assists per game, shoots the ball 44% from the field, 34% from 3, 83% from the free throw line, and also averages one steal, and but no blocks a game. So Jordan Clarkson is actually a really, really solid bench piece, and keep in mind that before Tyler Hero was named sixth man of the year this past year, the year before that, Jordan Clarkson was named the sixth man of the year. So if you were to get this trade, you would get one of the former sixth men of the year in Jordan Clarkson, and he definitely has a ton of experience and definitely puts up points a night off your bench. And this is exactly what the Sixers need off their bench. I mean, I understand we have DeAnthony Melton. We have Harden for the lineup. We have George Niang that can give you points here and there. We have Tyrese Maxey and P.J. Tucker as well. But if you want to go ahead and add more bench scoring, add Jordan Clarkson. And he will give you the bench scoring that the Philadelphia 76ers need and haven't had this good up bench scoring in a very long time. Now, this, the third reason why the Philadelphia 76ers would do this straight is that the Philadelphia 76ers get a great three-point shooter in Bojan Bogdanovich. And for Bojan Bogdanovich, his stat line is that he averages 15 to 20 points per game, three to four rebounds per game, one to two assists per game, 46% from the field, 
39% from three-point range, 86% from the free throw line, and also averages half, half a steal, but similar to Jordan Clarkson, no blocks a game. So, as we can see, it's a common theme right here from the first two players in Jordan Clarkson and Bojan Bogdanovic. They both are not great defenders, but they are heavy offensive scorers. And I would love Bojan Bogdanovic on this team because something that the Sixers cannot do as consistently as other teams can do is shoot the ball from three-point range consistently. Bojan Bogdanovic can shoot the ball 39% from three, and this man is a great scorer, whether if he would be in the starting lineup, which is likely, or even off the bench, depending if the Sixers were to go out and get anybody else. But I would likely say that if Bojan Bogdanovic were to come to Philly in this deal, that he would likely be in the starting lineup and would either play small forward or power forward for this team. Now, my fourth and final reason from, this, from Philly's perspective on why they would do this trade is that the Philadelphia 76ers get a solid death piece in Rudy Gay. Yes, and again, similar to Bojan Bogdanovic, his stat line in points per game is pretty similar, but it's off by just one point apart. Rudy Gay's stat line is that he averages 16 to 20 points a game, 6 to 7 rebounds a game, 2 to 4 assists per game, 45% from the field, 35% from 3, 80% from the free throw line, 1 steal, and 1 block a game. So, Rudy Gay in this deal is the best defender out of all three of these players that were mentioned from the Utah Jazz that if this deal were to be made they would be in Philly and out of those three players that I mentioned Rudy Gay is the best defender of those three with a steal and a block each but they all shoot the ball at a very solid level and at the end of the day I would do this trade coming from Philly's perspective and there are some pretty good reasons why because even though Jordan Clarkson and Bojan Bogdanovich both don't aren't really defensive players they really help you with your bench scoring, and that is exactly what the Philadelphia 76ers need and haven't had for quite a long time, like I said before. And then when you add Rudy Gay to that deal, you get a pretty solid defensive player as he averaged a steal and a block per game in his past few years. And if you do this deal, I would be very happy with it because you get two really solid scores and maybe even three if you add Rudy Gay and you get one solid defender in Rudy Gay at the same time. So now, from the Utah Jazz's perspective on the reason why they would do this deal, and there are two reasons for this. The first reason is that the Utah Jazz get a solid score in Tobias Harris. And from what Tobias Harris has put up in the past few years of his career, he's put up 16 to 20 points per game, six to nine rebounds a game, two to four assists per game, 48% from the field, 37% from three, and 83% from the free throw line, a steal, and then half a block a game. So Tobias Harris, as we've known as Philly fans, if you are a Philly fan on this channel, you know that Tobias Harris is just a really solid score. And the only reason us Philly fans want Tobias Harris out of Philly is because he was overpaid when the Philadelphia 76ers signed him when the front office of the Philadelphia 76ers literally looked like a bunch of idiots when we had, you know, Elton Brand back in the day, when we had those guys back in the day, they were literally idiots in giving Tobias Harris that big of a contract, which again is still a, was a stupid idea and still was a stupid idea today. But if you get Tobias Harris out of here, you take off that 76 to 77 million dollars and you get that off your hands. So that way you don't have to worry about Tobias Harris's 76 to 77, 77 million dollars that he has left on this contract, but I think it is also a solid piece that Utah could add for more scoring, because if Donovan Mitchell doesn't go and leave Utah, which he might likely leave Utah, or he might not, you never know, but if he doesn't leave Utah, there's a good second option right there, if he hit, were to be the second option, that is your second option right there, likely in Tobias Harris, that is likely your second option right there, in my personal opinion, and I would think that Tobias Harris would be your second option right there, based on the stat lines he put up in the past with Philly and with the other teams that he has played for. And now, 
for my second reason and my final reason from Utah's perspective they would do this deal. I am going to read the stat lines off first and then you guys will see where I'm going with this on why this player is in this deal. So, the second player that is in this deal is Matisse Thibel. And I'm just going to read off his offensive stats and you guys already know what you're going to ask me. Matisse Thibel on the offensive side averages 5-6 to six points per game. Two rebounds per game, one assist per game, 45% from the field, 32% from three, and 66% from the free throw line. Now you guys might be asking yourselves, ELSG, why would the Utah Jazz want Matisse Thibel? I'm going to answer that for you right now. So, remember around three weeks ago when Rudy Gobert got traded to the Minnesota Timberwolves in that huge deal where Minnesota gave up, I think it was five of their players and a few draft picks to Utah. And the reason why Matisse Thibel is included in this deal is because of his defense. He might not be as good as Rudy Gobert though, ladies and gentlemen, but he is much better than any defend. In my opinion, he's better than any defender that Utah honestly has in terms of their defensive part of the ball. Rudy Gobert was a beast at Utah in terms of his defensive stats. He could give you like three steals a game and like one half to two blocks a game. He was great at Utah when Rudy Gobert played there, but he is gone now and in Minnesota pairing up with Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards. Somehow, they, the Timberwolves were not able to give, were able to not give up Carl Anthony Towns or Anthony Edwards in that deal. They were able to make those two players stay, but the, the Timberwolves don't have much depth behind that apart from guys like D'Angelo Russ. D'Angelo Russell, that's a tongue twister right there, but in terms of the defense though, Utah can add a, so a solid defender in Matisse Thibel. We know Matisse Thibel is not great on the offensive side of the ball. That's like that's what people as of right now, like Donovan Mitchell are for. He is for and known for being part of the offensive side of the ball. He's not known for the defensive side of the ball. Rudy Gobert is gone. So, Matisse Thibel, in my opinion, is a good idea to send to the Utah Jazz for his defense and not his offense. Because his offense, as Philly fans, we all know this, it sucks. But his defensive side of the ball is much better than his offensive side of the ball. And us Philly fans know this. And every NBA fan should know this that kind of watches the Philadelphia 76ers at the same time. So at the end of the day, overall, I would do this trade that Sixers Wire has put out on social media. I would do this trade because the Philadelphia 76ers can add to their team to make it an NBA final contender, even though for the last around 20 years or so, the Sixers have gotten bounced out of the second round multiple times and haven't reached the Eastern Conference Finals in the last 20 years or so. And this could be the chance if the Philadelphia 76ers and Daryl Morey in particular go out there and execute this trade that Sixers Wire had offered on social media. And if the Sixers can find a way to do this, they just keep on building their team into being a title contender. And at the end of the day, this team can be scary if the Philadelphia 76ers find a way to do this trade. You guys give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. How do you feel about this trade that I just said and mentioned during the, the beginning of the video? How do you guys feel about this trade? Would you want this trade to be executed by the Philadelphia 76ers and the Utah Jazz? And would both teams accept both sides? And if you guys don't like the trade, what would you do to change it? Throw, it down, throw your thoughts down below in the comment section. I want to see what you guys think. And let's go Sixers, man. Anyway, guys, see you next time. Peace out. Go Sixers.